Williams, Seattle takes first down, misfires. Good hustle, but Hickey comes up with it. Seattle takes first down, misfires. Good hustle, but Hickey comes up with it. Got the numbers, two on one, and they're gonna call it against Hickey. And collecting the offensive foul. That's his second of the ball game. Tough break there for the game. Cox throwing it up for the lob, but he and Morgan just not on the same page. Beautiful inbounds play. Hickey as a recipient, he's got 14. Same page. Beautiful inbounds play. Hickey as a recipient, he's got 14. Off the main basket, Gamecocks come right back and answer. Slosser gets the bucket. As a recipient, he's got 14. Off the main basket. Gamecocks come right back and answer. Slosser gets the bucket. We've got ourselves a basketball yeah. game now. Both of these teams going at it. South Carolina, though, caught asleep with the wheel on the last out-of-bounds play. And then LSU just not getting back in defensive transition. Hickey opened up the year with six assists in each of his first four games, but now he's got the hot hand of the offense. Hickey opened up the year with six assists in each of his first four games, but now he's got the hot hand of the offensive end. The Gamecocks come up with the steal. Oh, they're going to call this one. We're still at the 14-13 uh, mark. Well, that's the one thing that Coach Jones talked about was their lack of depth. Ball fake by Slauson. He slides down the lane. And he's going to get a chance for a three. Donald's All-American uh, to come to, let's say, LSU versus maybe a Kentucky. Well, for O'Brien III, I, I think for him, you know, you talk. His versatility, Mike, and his ability to really extend the defense but also makes it more difficult on power forwards and guys playing the four position from the stretch defense. Last foul went on Sloss, and he has 11 points with four fouls now as Coleman knocks down both. Coleman gets the line with the most on the team. And both coaches saying we've got to get the line more. Well, at North Texas, Coach Johnny Jones actually, last three years, was either first and second in free throws made. And that's why he's disappointed with his team not getting to the line more here at LSU's made. That's why he's disappointed with his team not getting to the line more here at LSU that far. Morgan gives it up in the last second. And... Correct call. Pat Adams taking his time to assess the foul. That was a three in case you missed it. Assess the foul. That was a three in case you missed it. Seven points now for Carmouche. His first bucket in the second half. Carrera comes right back and answers. Interesting to see if Coleman's going to heat up here in the second half. But we mentioned coming off the bench, leading score at 13, coming at two in the first half. Although Hickey's the guy with the hot hand, I guess you want him to have the rock. Huh? Well, you want him to have the rock and a good break over there. And so when he comes back in the game, he'll be fresh and ready to go back at him. Hello, shoot team trailed by 12. Lead it by three right now. And remember, against Seton Hall, they were down by 16. They came back and won that game. And against Mark Kett, they were down by 21. They lost by four. Herrera. Seton Hall, they were down by 16. They came back and won that game. And Against Marquette, they were down by 21. They lost by four. Herrera. With four. And this is with 12 minutes left to go in the basketball game. That's a lot of basketball. That's 12 minutes. First place. Well, here's a young man who can heat up his well. Corbin comes in. He's 10 of 19 on the year from long range. Herrera's got five in the game. And 
defense. It's your opportunity right here. Hickey and both of Ryan the third. Del Piero all out of the basketball game. Let's see what happens. Oh, college. Del Piero all out of the basketball game. Let's see what happens. Oh, Collins, uh, the freshman, lazy pass, it's picked off. Gamecocks turn it into two. There's the first bucket by Eric Smith. We're tied at 54. Tough offensive tip this time for LSU. No cohesion. Collins goes up strong, but they're not strong enough against the Bakes of South Carolina. No cohesion. Collins goes up strong, but they're not strong enough against the Bakes of South Carolina. Here come the game cards. Carrera thought about it. I don't want to miss this one on top of the key. <laughs> Williams looking for his uh, first bucket of the second half. He takes it. Doesn't get it. Carmouche splits the defense. As does Coleman. I love that shot where he splits between just stop and pop. Nice use of the jump shot. Coleman, as you mentioned, the guy who's another offensive weapon and a much, much needed offensive weapon right now for LSU. Kevichus gives it up to the freshman Carrera converts. Both teams playing good team ball right now, Damon. Unselfish. Nice delivery and as you mentioned, good team ball, but defensively, seems like both teams are getting a little windy. Baseline drive. Coleman pulls up again, and Akevichus pulls down. Thought it was interesting, Buzz Williams and Barquette came here and lost last year. They beat him by four this year. This LSU team is a better team than they were last year. Really likes what uh, Johnny Jones has done. He likes the pieces. Tiger ball club. And again, we go back to your recipe with patience. Wow. Coleman says, get this stuff out of here. Wow. Coleman says, get this stuff out of here. Tigers with a chance to break the tie again. Deadlocked at 56. Finds the open man. A little bit too strong with the uh, three-point shot by Morgan. Knocked out of bounds. Ellington with seven all in the uh, first half. Still looking for that first bucket here in the second 20 minutes. Good help defense down there, but Jackson somehow muscles his way in. Yeah, nice toughness. Down there, but Jackson somehow muscles his way in. Yeah, nice toughness being shown, and then Ellington with the down there, but Jackson somehow muscles his way in. Yeah, nice toughness being shown, and then Ellington with the steal as well. Boy, LSU uh, came in averaging almost 11 steals a game, tops in the SEC. South Carolina just 4.7. They've got their share here tonight. Correct. More strength by the young freshman. Correct. More strength by the young freshman. Oh, uh, tough break there. South Carolina's taking advantage, Mike. Ellington ready to inbound a week ago. Damian, they were down two. Ellington took a three. And to Harris, you know. And the referee missed the call, and Ellington was clobbered. The ball hit the side of the backboard, but like what Frank Martin said, both those losses are in the rearview mirror right now. Just focus on the present as they try to get better. Focus on the present as they try to get better. And of course, the present 
Washington and the LSU Tigers. Whoa, Collins. A little travel music. You hate to see that. Just simply 1972 to 97. And what Coach Johnny Jones said he loved about Dale Brown was that he made sure that the players realized that they cared more about him and the relationship that he had with his players more than the wins and losses in record books. What did Jones tell us that Kentucky started fouling? He also said people always talk about the comeback. They never talk about how we got Kentucky down 31 in that <laughs> basketball game. It's <laughs> a good argument. Good point. Nice ball take by Stringer. And he makes the most of it. Stringer! He's got seven, his first bucket in the second half, and LSU trails by two. To have 21 turnovers and only be down two in a pretty good position if you're he likes to get up and down. But Dale Brown saying that this isn't basketball country, so you gotta you gotta put something on the court the fans want to see. First or second in the country as far as putting up points when he was at North Texas throughout those 13 years. I think his last seven or eight years. So he'll get the up tempo. Again, like we talked about, as far as the recipe for rebuilding, patience is the number one ingredient. So Jarrell Martin, the incoming freshman next year, probably be the one that really makes an impact. Del Piero, what the incoming freshman next year, probably be the one that really makes an impact. Del Piero, what the right-handed hook shot doesn't go. Pereira. Coming freshman next year probably will be the one that really makes an impact. Del Piero with the right-handed hook shot doesn't go. Pereira is going to be charged with the foul. Ooh, elbow got a little bit high there, inadvertently, but still a little bit high. Kevin just knocks it away, and here goes Elbow got a little bit high there, inadvertently, but still a little bit high. Kevin just Knocks it away, and here goes Ellington off to the races. Williams with the foul of Jay Brent. And that's one of the differences that you see between football players and basketball players a lot of times. Football players, because they're always... Basketball players a lot of times sometimes get in a gate and get accustomed to kind of saving their energy and just coasting. To kind of saving their energy and just coasting. As far as making the... Transition though with those legs, he's done a pretty good job. Mentioned 11 points against Mississippi, 71 loss to Auburn, and right now they're holding on to the 62-58 lead. 59 after Carmouche knocks back. I just don't see a lot of two-sport athletes anymore, even at the middle school level and elementary school. Now more guys like Bo Jackson and Deion Sanders and Ellington. It exemplifies a guy who can play both sports and play them well. Yeah, very well. Led the team in receiving. Seven touchdowns this year. Two against Clemson, and of course the one you talked about against Michigan in the bowl game. Now Johnny Jones, he came here once with North Texas. Had a feel kind of strange because he drilled the Tigers by 20. The numbers there on Brent Williams. Strong in the first half, struggling in the second half. And his team, the Gamecocks are back on top by four. You have to wonder at what point Coach Jones brings in O'Brien the third and Hickey back into this game. Beautiful shot by Stringer. Three guys do a nice job using the glass. The Springer did that time. A foul on the ball. Carrera when he was injured in, in Ellington. He said they're the personality for this team. They bring the toughness, the fight, the competitiveness. And they're making a difference here in this basketball game immediately. 21 turnovers. Johnny Jones saying shot selection was important tonight for his team, but I don't. I think he envisions 21 turnovers. Good shot. That's a three. Big three, two. 
Tigers on top, 65-64. Over. Missed the shot. Del Piero pulls down the Ellington. Nice crossover. Missed the shot. Del Piero pulls down the rebound. Here come the Tigers. Carmouche. It's a three. Oh, the step back. Didn't go down. These fans. Piero pulls down the rebound. Here come the Tigers. Carmouche. It's a three. Oh, the step back. Didn't go down. These fans. We're just holding the ground. Oh, the step back didn't go down. These fans were just holding their breath. And that trip, Carmouche thought about it. Just made one. That's what you call a heat check as a player. Good hustle by Carmouche, but he got the bonus now. Jackson walks up to the line. They'll have their opportunities to hit some big free throws here. Trailing by one. Now we'll get a chance to watch Jackson with the left hand with the free throw line. Very unique. Four to go. Well, Bryant the third in the basketball game as well. So if you're the game box in South Carolina, you see Jackson 28% on the year. Knocks that one down. Well, I guess 28%. Got to try something different, though, huh? Inside four minutes now. Deadlocked at 65. We were tied at 56. Too much dribbling for LSU right now, going east to west. You've got to go north-south. Boy, Hickey with four fouls goes behind the back and makes a big run. There it is. 67-65. Score's been deadlocked ten times, nine lead changes. A three will make that ten, and South Carolina can go back on top. Bucket doesn't go down, we're coming back the other way. A couple of possessions apiece for either team now, as you see South Carolina again making the LSU Tigers use up some of that shot clock. So now it's down to 20 seconds, and LSU just now getting into their offense against his own, which is going to take time to break down. Inside a minute now, here in Baton Rouge. Hickey, rims out. He thought he had it and mentality to coach Frank Martin likes. I mentioned the two games he missed with the hip injury, but after the big opener, he missed three games with a concussion, so you know he's always going to be giving that 110% effort. Well, Bryant the third gives it up. Hickey. Stringer. Hickey. He's looking for a little opening there. Six on the shot clock. He takes it. Rebound battle down, and the freshman Carrera comes up with a basketball. We talked about two teams that will be hungry for a win, Mike. Both teams going to make the other one work to get it. We're scratching, scratching and clawing in overtime. Minute seven to go, 17 on the shot clock for Ellington. <laughs> He's got these Tigers one hounding minute, him. Down to nine, Carrera, 14 footer, big, big shot. 15 of his 17 in the second half. This zone by Coach Frank Martin really has the offense stagnant, make them making LSU settle from the perimeter on almost every attempt. Another three, they thought they had it, rims out. Goes out of bounds and the Gamecocks are gonna have the to penetrate and get inside. Great defense on the inbounds pass. 71 points, they've scored 70 or more. 11 of the 14 games this year, you might be sitting at home saying, so big deal. So, well, that's already more than they did in 33 games last year, so. Again. And right now, a five-point deficit seems like a lot, but 39 seconds is an eternity in the game of basketball. What you have to do is to make sure you score for LSU. You can't.
Dawson and Obatu the tap, and South Carolina wins it. Team coming off wins their last outing. Alaska State snapping a seven game losing streak on the road against Missouri, Kansas City. Here's Eric Smith now to screen to a cutting Slauson. Into the jump stop and cut the cutting and cut the cutting loss into the basket. Slauson gets the deflection. One by Healy, all of a sudden, nobody on the back line and an easy jam. And unfortunate, South Carolina tips the ball away. Typically, Andy, the last person going to the offensive end should always stay back for defensive balance. Not the case in that possession. Jackson. And his hook gets the roll. 72% in the first half. They pick it up right where they left off. Ian Jackson gets the matchup on Kansas. 17 points a game, also a team best, six and a half rebounds. The step back by Mike Neal off the rim. And Mendogas Kaichinis, the freshman making his second star, grabs the miss. Shea Page, no good from the pull up. Dribble into a jump shot. South Carolina needs to get better shots than that. This Carolina's last game with a stomach virus. The contested three by Hamilton doesn't fall. This Carolina's last game with a stomach virus. The contested three by Hamilton doesn't fall. We'll have a foul under the bass point guard. He missed the first eight games. The entire fall semester academically ineligible. And he handles on Smith. by Kansas. Off the mark on the bank and Swanson. Big guys 11th in the nation in rebounding margin for a team that's not too tall. And Swanson drains his first. Take Swanson into the high post. A good shooter has not shot many or well from three this year. Actually, I think Andy more comfortable facing the basket than playing with his back to it. Long and lean and meanwhile a travel on Kansas State. He scored 29 in a game earlier this year versus Missouri. It's an Appalachian team that's SEC tested. Dish from Jackson to Slauson. Grabs his own miss. Can't get it the second time. And team that's SEC tested. Dish from Jackson to Slauson. Grabs his own miss. Can't get it the second time. And he for out. Promptly turned over. Thought that he wouldn't be available for today's game because South Carolina is already in the midst of his ball practice. The fast cut is Casinas. And guard Ellington, he convinced Steve Spurrier to let him play tonight before he returns to football full time. He got a 9 2 start. And that was excellent help defense on the baseline drive. And the air ball is the three. Neal under the basket gets blocked by Kaichinis. Obacha it was excellent help defense on the baseline drive. And the air ball is the three. Neal under the basket gets blocked by Kaichinis. Obacha handles. Kicks. And the air ball is the three. Neal under the basket gets blocked by Kaichinis. Obacha handles. Kicks to Ham. And the air ball is the three. Neal under the basket gets blocked by Kaichinis. Obacha handles. Kicks to Hamilton for the three. That's no good. Kaichin is falling down, grabs the... Obacha handles. Kicks to Hamilton for the three. That's no good. Kaichin is falling down, grabs the defensive rebound. Four made field goals, four assists. Now zones out of bounds are harder to run good set plays against. And with a lengthy leader, Eric needs to play more under control. South Carolina passing the ball well, getting really good looks at the basket early. While Appalachian State is missed its last six, there's Canty on the back door. He'll finish strong. I am trying to keep the leading scorer from catching the basketball, and he backdoors him. Shea Page, too heavy off the senior from Dillon, South Carolina. And last year at Southern Miss. I did a hardship waiver to finish his eligibility for his home state school. Sloss and taps it in the air. The hardship waiver to finish his eligibility for his home state school. Sloss and taps it in the air. Beats Page ahead. Page will drive in. Offensive foul. I have a power forward, but not many players can, can do it. And he's one that can, however. 
So Brenton Williams, team's leading scorer, and Limonis Akevichic, their 6'11 freshman, on the Frank Martin's bench. Another backdoor cut to Canty, and he'll kiss it in off the ball. You know, you don't score 29 at Missouri if you can't play the game of basketball. And 10 assists as well goes to Kane, so he's capable of being a good passer also. Offensive foul on Carrera. Leading scorer, Brenton Williams here tonight. All that, they jumped out to the early 11-4 lead. A bump on Hekevichic. His feet, he has trouble doing that. All six Appalachian State points scored by Canty, who's down on the left baseline. Obancha post Hekevichic. Nice duck under in the left. Michael Obancha, 6-8. Out of Nigeria, makes it a three-point game. App State now going zone. South Carolina getting good looks first, the man to man. This will do two things. It will change the tempo and also slow the game down. Kevages, the kick to Jackson. Not much of an outside threat. Williams gets sealed in by Kansas. Shot clock down to five. Brenton Williams will pop the three. And with the shot clock winding up in offensively, as we've seen all. Well, they need him to step up offensively, defensively. They need him to play more, but play better. Evan Basket kills his dribble in no man's land. Gets it away to Canty. Gets it through traffic and lops low for Obacha. That gets wedged on the rim. Jump. Bruce Ellington, would he rather be sitting in the dorm tonight hanging out or would he rather be playing hoops? He'd rather be playing hoops, so it is awfully nice of Coach Spurry, though, to uh, let him participate in this game here tonight. And, and next season, it's really unique that a young man could play at this level in those two sports as well as he does. Frank Martin said yesterday, when you have a player who invests himself so much in his own success like Ellington, it makes you as a coach trust him more, though he's wild on the floater. He's the rebound. I don't get those shots. I mean, there's no need to take shots like that. And uh, forcing him left, he likes to go right. Excellent scouting report uh, by Jason Capel and his staff. Not a careless turnover. This will roll into the backcourt. And also Jeff and coach at Old Dominion North Carolina a t is now an assistant with the Philadelphia 76ers. Richardson to pull up off the window. He's in a hard game to figure out. Open shots go in a lot more than contested shots do. Ellington, the telegraph pass. Loves the open floor. Richardson, a three-pointer. That key check off the mark. Loves the open floor. Richardson, a three-pointer. That key check off the mark. Leads to an Appalachian State breakout. Now the team afraid to push the tempo. Healy got a hand on Ellington. Now the team afraid to push the tempo. Healy got a hand on Ellington's dribble from behind him. Ahead to Hamilton, and he'll lay it in. Six-point game, and one thing which has vexed the Gamecocks this early season has been the turnovers. 19 of them a game. It almost looked like he made up his mind what he wanted to do before the pass. Well, which equals not smart play. I mean, uh, why take shots in a game that you don't take in practice would be my point. Smith, no-look feed to Carrera. Up strong and through. Yeah, the extra pass equals good offense. Carrera's first field goal. And a third assist from Eric Smith. Baskin from long range. Tipped up and in. Carrera's first field goal. And a third assist from Eric Smith. Baskin from long range. Tipped up and in. Jamal. Appalachian State didn't start a player smaller than 6'6". With Jason Capel this afternoon after their shoot-around, he said a big key for them was to protect the glass, rebound well. Guerrero has a jostled loose on the big key for them was to protect the glass, rebound well. Guerrero has a jostled loose on the way up. Jump ball will keep it with South Carolina. Having some trouble inbounding, though. And a five-second count. Inbounds. Fourth, Gamecock turnover. High post ball screen become the way college basketball is being played. Long rebound. 
My post ball screen becoming the way college basketball is being played. Long rebound. My post ball screen becoming the way college basketball is being played. Long rebound. Another ball screen, dishes to basket, a hop step on Carrera, no good, and Richardson gets another ball screen, dishes to basket, a hop step on Carrera, no good, and Richardson there for the miss. Jackson up ahead with the left hand, yes. Ball line up in, you, know how, you now have much better team speed, and Jackson takes advantage and, and uses his excellent speed. Nice pass by Eric Smith. Felt the contact from Richardson. Look at a period. Very well right now. Again, uh, stringing them back to back after the Jacksonville game here so far. Now, this thing is. Price at the line. Began his career at UConn. And in. in your vision so you can recover. Drives and gets it swatted by Carrera. They'll call the one Staley for South Carolina. Tara Vanderveer, 870 wins at Stanford. The streak continues in the foul line. 20 and make it 21 straight free throws by the Mountaineer back to their last game. Hanging around too, Andy. Not no, no panic in the look of the eyes of the Appalachian State. The players, coaching staff still hanging around very much in this game. Zone miss. Carrera. Playing for his own.